بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we are going to show you how to set up Visual Studio for MPI programming. Here are some requirements. This is Visual Studio and in our case we use 2017 and in MPI SDK pack we have msmpistk.msi and msmpisetup.exe. So let us start uh, by showing you how to download these required files for our MPI SDK. We assume that you have Visual Studio already installed on your computer. If not, you can uh, download it from the Microsoft's official site and there are installations uh, instructions given on that. You can follow the installation instructions and you can uh, install the Visual Studio. Here we go for our Microsoft SDK. In Google we can type MPI SDK and then on searching we have the first one first link Microsoft MPI and here we have MS MPI v9.0.1 we can click on this here it goes is a download button and we have on this page we have details of the version and the product and then we can have system requirements and we can have install instructions even though it's very easy simply you have to run msmpi setup.exe and follow the wizard that's it or you can similarly open msmpi sdk.msi and follow the wizard as next 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 and from uh, for some license agreements you have to check that's it so here we can download it so we can select both of the files and then we can go next so in our case we have already installed we have already downloaded the files and these files are already here in my system So when I, I am done with downloading, I can simply click on one of the files. In my case, I have already installed it. So here I have to click yes and then it will go to the wizard. So I have to uh, click some next buttons. That's it. Now we'll show you how to start up Visual Studio and how to set up it for our MPA program. Here's an important step. You have to open this Visual Studio as administ administrator. Run as admin. And then, yes. So here comes our Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio and I have the admin version here. So because I click run as administrator. So here I can make a new project, an MPA project and here new project and here I have to select Visual Studio Windows console application MPI first any name to the project and here I can set my path for hosting my project so here is uh, program files 
x86 microsoft sdks and inside microsoft sdks i have mpi installation i will keep, keep it same if you want to change you can browse it and you can change here it goes so i will keep it as it is and here inside mpi if i want to create new folder for my project i can click this i can set this or i can check this one if i don't need i can uncheck but in in our case we need this and here i can press ok okay so here is mpi second okay Here comes our MPI second dot CPP. So first of all, we need to include one file that's include hash include MPI dot H. So you can see an error coming here. For this, what I have to do is I have to link, I have to include some files, some directories. In short, we have to uh, embed that MPI, MPI SDK for the required files and includes and libraries to my Microsoft Visual Studio. So for that, we will go to our project, this project menu. And here will be MPI second dot uh, second properties. So this MPI second is your project name. So you can select this. And here, first of all, we have to select C C plus plus. And here I go. Additional include directories. I have to press edit. And in this edit, uh, what I have to do is, here is this yellow icon. I can press this new line or I can say control insert. And here I can browse for my path. The first one, I have to go to C um, on, my, on the same path where I have in a, installed the MPI SDK. In my case, it's on program files x86 I will open this and here is Microsoft SDKs and here comes MPI and inside MPI first I have to go to include or I can uh, I can select here include and select here include and select folder that's it and then I can press OK. That is this step one. And step two, I have to go to linker. See here, the linker tab. And inside linker tab, I have additional library directories. I can click on this and go on editing. And here the same. Here, I have to go back to MPI the same path program files microsoft sdks mpi and inside mpi i have lib and i have to choose one of them x86 and x64 are there in my case it's x86 select this and i will do okay the last step here is see the error is still here now the last step inside the linker I will go into input and then I will in input additional dependencies and I will click on edit and here I will add ms mpi microsoft mpi dot lib 
msmpi.lib and here I will click OK and I will click apply okay now you can see this error has gone now we can write our normal MPI programs over here let us try so, some simple things here is integer these are the command line arguments integer pointer arg c comma care We can put null null or we can put the command line arguments the arc c and r b depends upon your requirements let us put null and null because this is a simple program so we may we, we may not need the command lines here you can see we can have certain variables also that's mpi com size and then we can have <coughs> rank the pros id This is our MPI com rank, and inside MPI com rank, we can send our MPI com world. This is our MPI com world, and here I will send. Receptions of the rank, and then again I can go for MPI com size. Here it goes. In MPI com size, again we will use our MPI com world. And our second variable will be the communicator size. And for our simple uh, hello world application, this will be enough. So I will print F. hello MPI and finally we have to do MPI finalize now we, <coughs> we will try to build our project
this here in the build menu build project build solution it will take some time since I have built it earlier with zero any if I try to change here and save it again only to show you that uh, this time it it's showing here build zero succeed zero failed zero failed one up to date zero skipped so I can build it again after changing even though we are not changing but here we go build one succeed zero failed zero up to date and zero skip now we have many ways to run the program the simplest way we can show you is we will run run our command prompt cmd we have our developer command prompt for visual studio and we have this simple command prompt from, from windows so again i will run it as an administrator and here i will press yes first i have to go to the path so that's cd program files and then cd microsoft sdks cd mpi cd mpi second and then since uh, it's showing me here that mpi second dot vcx project has done and it has copied the file C programs X and X executable file this is the path and inside the path we have as a Microsoft SDKs MPI MPI second and here we have debug has created a folder and inside that has put this exe, exe file so I have to select the same path over here I can copy this path and do CD here on my command prompt now I have uh, uh, the for execution of MPI programs we have MPI exec with n so that we can specify the number of processes and then we have MPI second dot exe okay here we go MPI exec. Oh, see, uh, I have not selected the proper path because this is MPI second, and here it shows that in MPI second we have a debug folder. In debug folder we have MPI second here. So I can go cd debug, and then I will execute the same command. Here my antivirus is stopping me because I am running by maybe I am running my command prompt as administrator and here I am running exe file so checking for any trouble okay so here I will go again and execute this it will it will show me some errors on the first run due to maybe this process. And here, here it goes since I have specified ni 9 processes. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So all the 9 processes are doing the same thing, printing the hello MPI. That's it. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.